Hi Roman. Hello. You have been in a PSD class for three days now and so I'm happy that you are willing to answer some questions about the class. Yeah, sure. So, first of all, what do you think is the best audience for this class? For whom is this class for? Well, uh, I really think that uh, anyone involved with Scrum teams or with Scrum uh, would benefit from attending a PSD class. Uh, definitely the development team members because you have a hands-on experience with uh, the Scrum framework itself, with the engineering practices, uh, you would definitely benefit the product owners just to observe what it, it looks like, sometimes maybe from the inside of the development team and how uh, certain communications can be beneficial or destructive to the entire Scrum team. For Scrum Masters to observe how the, the teams actually do behave in condensed uh, uh, conditions with a short uh, time limitations because it sharpens everything and uh, definitely the managers uh, because they uh, can also learn from uh, the observations and just to um, uh, to learn what they can uh, do in their organizations to enable real business agility and to enable uh, the Scrum teams to achieve uh, real results they are aiming for. Oh yeah, so you're saying basically uh, Scrum Master's product owner should also attend uh, this class. So what we see is that the number of students uh, attending a PSD class is much lower than those for uh, Scrum Master classes or Product Owner classes. But on a regular Scrum team you would have more development team members than Scrum Masters or Product Owners. Do you have an idea what could be a reason for this? Well, uh, well uh, I think that's uh just uh, people do not understand how awesome the PSD class is. Uh, uh, maybe it's just uh, because you uh, do not uh, really get into what you will, would be able to get in just three days just by going through the learning objectives. Uh, it's more when you've already experienced it, it's uh, easier to see through the value. Uh, so that's, uh, I think, is the main reason. Oh, okay. So sometimes people also complain about uh, the length of the PSD class because it's three days compared to the other classes which mostly are just two days. Um, so what are your thoughts about the length, about the three days of the PSD class? Well, uh, I think that three days uh, are perfect just because uh, the training is not only for you know, getting knowledge, it's also about learning something by, by doing it by yourself. You, you just uh, can always go through some informational resources to read a book on just to visit a lecture, but it doesn't grant you actually a skill. Uh, and to develop a skill you need a little bit longer periods of time. And that was I find the most valuable in having a PhD in three days. That's pretty much it. Cool. So thanks for taking the time. Thank you.